Another day, another CEO vlog here in the Wild Studio. Sunny Austin, Texas day. I don't even have to use any of these fancy lights I got. I can just literally have the sun come in. I didn't really know what I was gonna talk about going into this, but like I like to go, I like to flow, I like to get into it. And as you see, this is all things that took time to build, okay? Check some of this out, right? These are books. You read a book, okay? That information goes into your head. Then, subconsciously, you think about things differently. You're a little bit, in my opinion, better. You're a little bit better person. You're a little bit more uh, worldly experienced. You're, more, you're wiser, you're more knowledgeable, okay? Maybe wiser is not the right thing. Maybe you're more knowledgeable and maybe eventually you can become more wiser. Wise tends to take life experience in conjunction with knowledge. Okay, but don't discount books. You can literally live other people's lives by reading their biographies and reading their stories. All right, don't discount that. I've read all these books, okay, and these are just some of them. I'm reading over about 100 books a year. It's not gonna come easy, okay? Most of you, I mean, most people, period, want overnight results. We want it fast. We want it like in less than a year. Even a, even a year of work for most people sounds like a lot. But I've been building Wild for four years. I've been an entrepreneur for 12 and literally still not to where I want to be. I mean, I'm like at step one. I feel like I'm Jeff Bezos. He talks about day one. He talks about how it's day one of the internet. It's day one for Amazon. And that means he's reminding his team, he's re reminding himself even, that even though they're a trillion dollar market cap company, they still have to think that it's like just the beginning so that they can focus on the essentials and that they can focus on building long-term. Reading your knowledge and getting results, it's the same exact thing. If I read this book, okay, any one of these books, and I take even one piece of information away, it's gonna be worth it. But it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna get overnight results. Now, I can do things that a lot of people can't do, and I can think in a way that a lot of people can't think because I've been building this up for a long time. You go a few years reading 100 books a year, and you just, every year you look back, you're like, I didn't know anything. Like every year you're evolving, every year you're getting better. And it's not always obvious how that's helping you, but those, the way you think and those ideas and that subconscious, it really has tangible results. You can make more money, you can avoid a lot of mistakes and avoid losing money, that's actually a big one, okay? And you can just respond to people better and make better decisions and not be as rational, irrational I should say, being more rational. And that is kind of a long-term play for why you'd wanna read books. Okay, a lot of people think they want to read a book and then like tomorrow they're gonna be like smarter and genius and be able to like solve this big problem or whatever, but that's not how it works. It has to become a habit. And then you you incrementally get better. Knowledge they say is like lattice work, like neurons connect to neurons and then and to other things, and then those things connect, and it's like exponential connections, a big lattice work of connections, okay? And that's what knowledge is. So every year you read hundred books, but then you read hundred more, but then you read hundred more, you have three hundred, but you might have exponentially more connections in your brain not just 300 more, you have exponentially more because things connect to multiple things, okay? And that's how you really build a solid foundation of knowledge, which you can then apply to life and then through experience and connecting some of these ideas and living them firsthand yourself, that's how you get wisdom. Then when you have wisdom, you know, you see things a lot clearer than other people. You don't fall into the, the grass is greener syndrome and the shiny object syndrome and a lot of these things that people fall into in business and life and whatever. You're more objective. You're more able to sift through your dogma and your bias so that you can see things clearly. So let's, let's do a little walk around and I'm gonna kind of touch on a few more of these ideas and how we have something like this that has taken a long time to build and then how we have it today and what that timeline was getting it, all right? Ikea, these, these boards are amazing. They're modular. And these are books I've read, okay? Another Ikea, it actually folds down. We got a really nice key light, spent, I mean, that's like a thousand bucks, but it's pretty much the only light I need to use to do my videos here, and it looks amazing, all right? We got this whiteboard set up, some sound paneling that we still need to finish. These actually help muffle sound. Various tripods, whatever. Camera gear, like you will spend a little bit of money on some things, but a lot of things aren't that expensive. Then we got the podcast set up, which started with just, without this table, it was that little small table over there actually. It was this table, and we had mics around it, and it was these mics, okay? Then we upgraded to these mics that you probably noticed from Joe Rogan's show, and we got these nice arms, we got this nice Ikea table, and now we're set up, we could do four people, we could even do more if we really wanted to. And we got this nice mixer, which is amazing. If you ever get serious about podcasting, I highly recommend, it's a Rode something something, I don't know what it's called, but you can probably figure it out. We got the kitchen for recipes. Let's see, we got anything in the fridge? Not really but it's all, it's all clean stuff, even if it is. Not really. These are pretty good though. These are like organic frozen dinner things.